Hello, John Zimmerman with Tablet Class Math. And what I want to do in this video is show you one of our software features to our program. And what we do at Tablet Class is middle and high school full course math instruction. So if you're not familiar with our system, maybe you want to shoot over to our site, tabletclass.com, and you can take a free trial. But uh, nevertheless, uh, hopefully this will give you at least a, a quick look into um, one of the uh, features that we offer our members. So right now, currently I'm logged into a pre-algebra um, course, and I got the uh, screen zoomed in, so you're only kind of looking at the top left uh, portion of the browser, because I want to hone in on this particular uh, feature. But anyways, let me just go ahead and give you a real fast introduction to Tablet Class, uh, so I can talk about this particular feature in a more sensible manner. So, like I said, we provide full course math instruction. Okay, so here we're looking at Tablet Cl a Tablet Class pre-algebra course, and right here are the chapters to that course. So these are the chapters. Okay, and if you drill into the chapters, you will see the sections that make up each of those chapters. And then at the end of each chapter. We offer extra practice worksheets, uh, notes that students can print out, tests and keys, etc. So what I want to do is talk about our uh, software uh, features or one of the particular um, key features that we offer. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these um, sections. Let's say order of operations. Okay, so if I drill into the order of operation section, okay, what you'll have for all sections, and if you understand this, you'll understand how all of Tab Class works, is we offer a full lesson video. Okay, so students will watch a complete full video on, let's say, for example, order of operations. Then they'll click on this magnifying glass here, which will bring up a worksheet, and then they can watch the worksheet solutions. And we group the exercises in example sets, so they can just watch each respective example set solution. So let's go ahead and drill into a lesson now. Okay, so I'm going to double click on this. And so here is a video that's bringing up. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video. So if you take a look at this video, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this video is, is 12 minutes and 20 seconds in length. That's a pretty good uh, size video, if you will, or length. And it's because this is full course instruction. It's not tutorials. It's not real fast. It's a complete full lesson on an order of operations. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and just tab through it. All right, so... Probably some of you can already recognize this. Okay, same type of instruction that you would receive in a uh, classroom. Okay, and in a uh, like a great school. So that's uh, that's the whole thing that really we focus on a tablet class is great full complete instruction. But we do offer some pretty cool software tools, and one of them is the self assessment tool. So for each video watched, what a student or a member wants to do is rank themselves on their level of understanding. Now this is not a grade, okay, or a quiz or anything like that. It's just the student saying to themselves, you know, how did I feel about this? Did I really understand it? And students pretty much know. If they're getting it, the material, if they're able to do some of the example problems on their own, they'll know whether they're they're understanding or not. Okay? So this tool obviously is only going to be as good as how well the student uses it. But we have many, 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 many members that use this uh, tool and they love it. Okay, and it's des by design. Okay, we built this particular tool in so you so students can keep track and manage their strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so let's say for example, I'm a student. I watched the order of operations video. And I'm like, you know what? I totally get this. I understood the examples. I took notes. So I would want to rank myself maybe in A. Totally understand. You can see the other categories here: confident kind of get it, struggling, totally lost, etc. Okay, so here if I rank myself totally understand, I could type in something like, uh, you could leave yourself a little text note, like, oh, I love this, and Mr. Z, that's me, is a great teacher. <laughs> Whatever, right? So they could put in little notes to themselves, and of course they have to hit the update button. So now this locks in their ranking, okay, their self-assessment, if you will, for that particular video. Now, in tablet class, in our courses, there's, there's, you know, I think pre-algebra might be close to 300 um, separate videos, and each correlate to a specific skill set. So now, what does that mean? We just kind of ranked ourselves. What does that? How's that going to help the student? So this is probably one of the best tools that we have, a quick tool for a student to, to. Uh, manager strengths and weaknesses is to use this tab right here. It says the My Pulse, My Pulse tab. So when you click on that, 
this is going to pull up all the videos that you watched and ranked yourself on by level of confidence. So for example, let's see if I marked any videos at a level of F. No, okay, I didn't. But I know I just watched this order of operations video and I ranked it as an A. So if I click on A, boom, there it is. Okay, so I marked, uh, you can see the video, Introduction to Algebra Terms and Concepts, this was super easy, etc. So these are the, all the videos that I watched Okay, that I marked as with an A level that you're totally get. And then of course you can kind of go through the level here, B. Okay, these are your B level videos that you marked. This is just a sample account, so you kind of see what's going on. But if you were the actual student, here's a C level account. If you're an, <coughs> if you're an actual student for every video that you watched and you completed the self-assessment, you would have a very specific list of um all the videos that you watched, when you watched them, because here's the date, okay, and the level of understanding that you marked. So the great thing about this, it's a, it's designed to be a dynamic tool. So let's suppose here, um, okay, I have introduction to algebra terms and concepts variables, example set B. So I marked it as a C, but maybe, you know, I, I went back and did some review. I'm like, well, no, I understand that, uh, you know, variables much, much stronger than just a C. What you want to do is you want to, you know, update or upgrade those lower level videos because C's are too low, right? You want to get your level of understanding to at least a B, which is confident, or more pre uh, preferably totally understand. So you could just drill right into the video, click into it. All right, so here's that video. So let me pause it. And let's say I go through this, I go, oh yeah, now I, I know what I did wrong and I, now I totally get it. So now I think, okay, I get this now. Okay, so now after doing that, you would now want to mark it, totally understand, right? Hit the update button, and now we can go back over to the My Pulse. Let me pause this video. I can go back to the My Pulse system. Let's see, let's go and, and select A. So there's your variables lesson right there, okay? So 225, that's when I'm, uh, let's see here. This is, uh, whoops, I'm sorry, 913. This is the variable um, lesson that, or the example set that I was watching. And so you can get to get the general idea, right? You can kind of, update yourself consistently okay review your strengths okay do at least spot check yourself hey do I you know do I still you know feel good about this material but obviously the m more important use of this uh, feature is anything you mark with a C or below kind of get it or struggling or totally lost these videos you need to review okay or the, the, this topics okay you need to you need to go so math builds on itself you can't let a real weak area slide too many students do that and what ends, up, what ends up happening is they can't learn the new material because they never learned the previous material. And it just it's like a house of cards. It doesn't work. So before you get into a crisis situation, you have to address those weak areas. So better to know about them. Okay, This is not a grade because you can update this. So anyways, this is called our um, self-assessment okay, feature and my pulse tab. We do have another let me go and show you right here. Okay, see this little statistics button, or this little we call it, it's our performance statistics button. If I click on this, okay, this is another view. All right, it's going to bring it up. Okay, this is uh, another view of that self-assessment information. Okay, and I don't want to really get into this too much, but what this does is show you how many videos that you actually watched and assessed. Okay, and then here's how many videos are totally um, available in that uh, course and then here is a performance summary of the number of videos that were available and the number of videos that you grade that you graded per chapter okay so just another view to um, see that information so here I'm in the my pulse tab I'm gonna jump over back over to the course navigator tab and you can see here I want to show you that we have percentages we have percentages over here on this performance summary and we have percentages here so where are these percentages coming from well, when you mark an A in the video or B, okay, we give you a uh, a kind of a raw score. I think A is like we maybe give you like a 95% ranking, B 85%, etc. So for a, a, a particular chapter, if you marked all A's in that section or or chapter, you would have like say a 95%. Um, it would show. So here, in this number operations section, okay, of this first chapter, it says five for five for 81%. Okay, you can see here these other ones are 75%, 79%. So what does that mean? It means that you watched all five videos and completed the self-assessment. There were five videos. You watched them and you marked yourself 
with the particular, um, you know, give yourself a, a, a self-assessment, you know, A through F. And the overall average, the way we calculate, is 81%. So that's like a low B, if you will. So you can see the lesson was marked as an A. Example set it, example set A, um, solutions uh, B, etc. And then here, all of these these last three were Cs, but for an overall percentage of 81%. So you can see it, uh, through the course navigator view, you can kind of quickly scan through what you've watched, how many videos you've watched, and and the relative uh, percentage. But anyways, uh, like I said, with Tabit Class, to the date of this video, we're always looking for um, new uh, software uh, features and tools that we can add. We're always looking for more value to put into the system. But Tabit Class is still centered around the most important thing, and that is great um, math instruction. So if you're interested, please uh, come on over to our site, tabletclass.com. Take a free trial with us, and uh, thanks for spending a little time with me. Have a great day.